guys, it's Alicia. So this week, since we aren't launching season three until next week, I thought we would do a back to school meal prep episode or video just to talk about some ideas. Um, end of August, early September gets really busy for um, whether you're going back to high school or college or even if you're a mom, um, this time of year just really picks up and we don't have as much time to prep food. Or maybe you haven't been prepping, but now it's like a fresh start and you wanna, um, you know, jump back on the health wagon. So uh, meal prep, people always ask for meal prep ideas and you can do crazy meal prep. You've seen the photos where it's like seven days of tons of Tupperwares and they're in the fridge or on the table laid out and it's all the same thing. And that is awesome because if you follow that, you will totally succeed, but it doesn't work for me because A, I don't wanna eat the same thing every single day and B, I never have that kind of time to make, you know, seven days worth of meals at once. Even though I know the logic is it's easier, you make it all at one time and then you don't have to make anything the rest of the week, but I don't have five or six hours on Sunday to do that. So I don't do that. Um, I eat different things every single day to keep it interesting, especially when you're eating healthy. I feel like if I eat the same things, I get so bored and I just wanna stop eating healthy altogether. So trying to keep it interesting um, really helps for me. So, um, my meal prep, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you about it a little later, but pretty much I spend about one hour on Sunday doing all of my meal prep for the week and then kind of space the rest out um, through the other days. So, I'm going to share some of my staple on-the-go breakfast, lunch, and dinner ideas and some snacks, and you can try these out, you can try your own out. Um, for breakfast... I love, love, love overnight oats. So if you don't know what overnight oats are by now, I don't know what, but you need to click the link wherever it is for my overnight oats episode um, because it'll tell you exactly what it is, but pretty much it's you know oats and a bunch of other stuff in a jar. You stir it up and you leave it in the fridge overnight. In the morning you wake up, it's ready to go cold. So you can take it to school or work, um, You know whether you're on the bus or train or car, I guess you shouldn't eat it while you're driving, but you get what I'm saying. It's portable. Um, and that's the idea with um, busy on the go stuff, right? Is we want to be able to take it with us. So some other good breakfast ideas. I've got my two ingredient energy bars, which are no bake. We did an episode two ingredient takeover on those. Check it out. Um, fruit and yogurt. That's another one of my go-tos if I'm short on time. Uh, usually it's not quite enough for me, so I have to add some kind of protein powder or something to make it a little more substantial, but it's a good option. Um, muffins. I love muffins and uh, I love mini muffins because I can eat more of them. So I have a ton of mini muffin recipes. Um, I make them on the weekend. I keep them for the whole week. They freeze really well. Um, my vegetarian breakfast bake did an episode on that. Check it out. You make it on the weekend and it lasts the entire week. And that's really good for lunch and dinner too, not just breakfast. And of course my egg muffins. So egg muff muffins I haven't talked about in a while. I posted them to Instagram a long time ago, but pretty much it's like a little mini quiche. You bake up, you know, you just pour either eggs, egg whites, egg substitute, whatever, into a little muffin tin with vegetables, bake them up, and then that's it. You put them in the fridge, and you can eat them cold or warm, but they're great on the go. All right, on to lunch. Um, so I know everyone doesn't have access to a kitchen during lunchtime. You can't always cook something healthy, but you can always bring something healthy. So it does take some planning. There's no way around it, um, especially if you're going to go out to eat and, you know, it's expensive, you don't wanna to have to pick something healthy when you go out. I don't wanna to have to pick something healthy when I go out to eat. So my best bet to stay healthy during the school year is to just pack my own lunch. So things I like to pack, chicken salad and pasta salad are really, really good options that I can make ahead of time and then just take them on the go. Um, really easy to make those things healthy. You don't need to use mayonnaise. I always sub Greek yogurt or avocado for mayonnaise and I've got a bunch of recipes for those. Um, salads in a jar, so this is, like a total fad going around and it's super cool, but pretty much you put all your salad ingredients, it can be you know lettuce, tomatoes, beans, fruit, anything you want, you put it in the jar. I recommend um, start putting the lettuce on the top because it'll get soggy if you put it at the bottom. And I also recommend not putting the dressing in until you're gonna actually eat it because it starts to you know, be a little mushy. But um, you can prep these for like a whole week and it'll totally, when I make salads in a jar, I will actually eat a salad every day. But if I don't make it, then there's like, you know, a 10% chance that I'll eat a salad. Um, smoothies. Smoothies are great. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, or snack. Um, any time of the day, you can throw in 
vegetables, fruits, you know, you don't even need milk, yogurt, anything. You can just put it with water and ice and it's great. You don't need added sweetener. If you use fruit, it's plenty sweet. Um, and you can also make those in advance and you can freeze them and then eat them as ice cream for dessert. Dinner. All right. So my go-to dinner on busy nights is eggs, frittatas, any kind of egg meal. Like I, I usually use egg whites or substitute if I'm going to do like scrambled eggs. If I'm going to eat fried eggs. I of course want the yolk, but, um, frittatas are one way that I can get all my vegetables in. So one thing about prepping meal prep and stuff, I don't like to eat a bunch of raw vegetables. So even if I cut them up, I'm not going to go grab for them and reach them to eat them plain. Um, but I will put them in eggs because eggs disguise everything and make them taste great. So that's a really big go-to dinner. Same with pizza. So get like a solid whole wheat crust or try out my garbanzo bean um, flour crust. That one's super quick and easy to make. Put a bunch of vegetables on there, you know, and then you got your veggies in for the day. Um, any slow cooker recipes. One of my favorite recent ones is my Tex-Mex quinoa. Um, you can make it on the weekend or, you know, you can throw all the stuff in at the beginning of the day, go out for work and stuff. You come back and it's cooked, ready to go. Panini. We forgot to talk about sandwiches at lunch, but you all know that that's normal. But a hot sandwich, get a panini press. They're like 10, 15 bucks at Dwayne Reed. And you know, you can make hot sandwiches. So a few appliances to keep around. Panini press, Nutribullet, um, toaster, toaster oven. I don't, I don't know if dorms allow toaster ovens. I think my sister was saying that they don't allow them anymore. Um, but anyways, just the basics. You don't need a lot of appliances, but just a few will help give you a lot more variety in your diet. Also for dinner, sweet potatoes. They are so easy to microwave. Um, they you know, take a while to roast in the oven, but if you don't have time for that, throw them in the microwave for a few minutes, cut it open, put a little peanut butter on it, and you're good to go. All right, some snack ideas. So um, bean salsa is something I love to keep in the fridge every single week. Um, my bean salsa recipe, it's actually my mom's recipe, but it's really good. You just take a bunch of canned stuff, put it into a bowl and mix it up and you're done. And it's really good source of protein. It's vegetarian. Um, so if you're trying to do a little more meatless, that's a good option. So I eat it plain. I eat it with vegetables. I eat it, um, with chips or crackers, uh, on sandwiches and anything. It's just awesome. Uh, also the link for that will be below. Boiled eggs. You can boil up eggs easy peasy, either actually boiling them over the stove or baking them in the oven and just, you know, grab and go. Those are quick snacks. Celery in a jar with peanut butter. This is a really clever idea. You can do these before and then don't take very long to assemble right before you leave. You know, just put some peanut butter in the jar or grab an almost empty peanut butter jar, throw some little sticks of celery in there. You're good. Making your own trail mix. So Home, homemade trail mixes are a better option than the store-bought just because the store-bought tends to have a lot of added sugars and salt. So making your own's easy, you know, get some, get some nuts that you like, get some raisins or cranberry, whatever dried fruit, you know, maybe a few M&Ms, but not too many, and you got a trail mix, good to go. Another favorite snack, brown bag popcorn. So I am off of a bagged microwavable popcorn, like the pre-bagged kinds because of everything I've been hearing about, all the chemicals in the bag. It's like, usually I'm not like a chemical-y person, but for some reason it's freaking me out. And then I discovered this way that you can make pop popcorn in a brown bag, just normal. All you do is put a few kernels in the bag, throw it in the microwave, put it on for a few minutes. You don't need any oil, no butter, nothing. You can just like put a little salt or seasoning and you got perfect popcorn and it's healthy and low calorie and you know, whole grain. Okay, another snack. Dried figs, these are one of my new favorite things. So I'm gonna tell you a secret um, that I'm kind of embarrassed to even admit. But so until a few months ago, um, cause I teach fit fitness classes, I've told you guys that before, but I had this habit of stealing all the sugar packets from Dunkin' Donuts. And before I would teach a class, I would shoot back a sugar packet for energy. Cause I don't like taking energy drinks and stuff. And I know that's really terrible. I mean, it's not that terrible. It's like you know, one sugar pack, it's not going to kill you. But I just like did it for the energy and it made me feel, I don't know. Anyways, I did that. And then a few months ago I switched and I started, I was like, oh, I should try these dry figs. And they are really good and sugary, no added sugar. They're just naturally, they have a lot of natural sugar in them. And, um, you know, you don't want to eat a million dried figs, but I'll just now eat one or two dried figs before a class and I won't eat my sugar packet. So small changes in the journey help. All right, um, another good snack or sweet treat option. Um, any of my two ingredient recipes, if you didn't get to see the two ingredient takeover series, check it out. But especially, you know, those brownies, all you do, 
brownie mix and pumpkin, boom, you got brownies. Um, my two ingredient cookies, those banana oatmeal ones will last in the fridge if you make them um, on the weekend. So we've come to our Sunday prep. Um, I like to limit, like I said, my prep to one hour. So you go to the grocery store, this doesn't count in the time, you get everything you need, whatever. Um, the basic prep I do, let's say you take the first 10 minutes and you dedicate that to prepping your protein. So I would probably use lean chicken or something like that, maybe a, a extra lean ground turkey. So whether it's, you know, cutting off, you know, the fat of the chicken or cutting it down, whatever, prepping your protein to cook 10 minutes. That's, that's a really liberal amount of time. You shouldn't need 10 minutes to do that, but let's just say you do. Um, 30 minutes, the next 30 minutes, your protein is cooking. So it's on the stove, it's in the oven, whatever it's doing. Um, you spend the first 15 minutes just cutting up fruits and vegetables. So everyone thinks that that's the most daunting part. It doesn't take that long if you actually just have it all out and go on the cutting board and do it. You spend the first 15 minutes cutting up fruits and vegetables, put them in Tupperwares, that's it. The second 15 minutes, you're gonna make your staple snacks. So your bean salsa, your hummus, um, any kind of those you know dipping sauces, whatever that you want to encourage you to eat vegetables. So then your protein is done, you let it chill, you have 20 minutes left in your hour, you're gonna spend 10 more minutes doing those miscellaneous things. So whether it be, you know, making some pasta so that you, or quinoa, to make pasta salad hot or cold, maybe this is the time when you boil your eggs or make your trail mix, or just spend about 10 minutes making a few of those things. And then spend the last 10 minutes cleaning up. So if you're efficient while you're doing it, you won't have that much cleanup. If you can keep it all kind of contained and have your Tupperwares ready to go, it's not so bad. So there you go, meal prep in an hour. That's literally all I do before the week. Um, so the rest of it, I just kind of do as I go because it, it allows me to keep variety and keep my diet interesting. Like I said, I cannot eat the same thing um, every single day. I can eat leftovers, but not the exact, exact same thing for all the meals every day. Um, but remember, whether you are a meal prep person or not, your success is not going to be determined by whether or not you meal prep. It's just gonna be about how dedicated you are. Prepping a few things, like cutting up those fruits and vegetables, keeping them accessible, will encourage you to be healthier. I know if I don't cut up the fruit, if I leave the cantaloupe sitting out on the counter and I don't cut it, when I get home, it's not even about whether or not I have time. Let's be real, I'm lazy and I don't wanna cut the cantaloupe right then. But if I have it cut up in the fridge already, I'm gonna pick it up and eat it. So rather than grabbing, you know, the processed food or the bag of chips or your roommate's Pop-Tarts, you know, grab your fruit and your vegetables and your hummus and your bean salsa. You are gonna have to make time for what's important. If you really want, you know, to see this change happen and stay true to it, then you've gotta make the time to prep however you need to, whether it's an hour or five hours, whatever, you know, way is gonna help you succeed, that's what you gotta do. You know, reorganize your day. It's not that we don't have time, it's that we don't make time. So if you make the time, I promise you can succeed whether you are a meal prepper or not. So whether you're back to school or your kids are back to school, I hope everybody is ready for an awesome fall and I'll see you next week. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you, this Sunday we are gonna start um, posting Mind Over Munch vlog. So every Sunday you'll see a new one, but this Sunday is the very first one and it's gonna show you what I eat in a day. So you're gonna see some of the things I talked about here. You're gonna see some things I didn't talk about here, but maybe that'll help give you some more ideas um, for you to have a successful school year, semester, whatever it may be. See you then.